everybody, it is Julie from Pages and Pens and I am back with a video for you. This one, if you guys want to just walk behind me and ring a bell and yell shame at me, you can do that. This is nine series, full series, published series. All of the books are out. I own every book in these nine series and I have not read any of them. I did not pull all of these books from my shelves. I just pulled the first book of every series from my shelf, but we're gonna talk about the nine series that I own in their entirety that I have not even started yet. It feels very overwhelming to say that. <laughs> it feels very daunting to know that I have this many complete series on my shelves that I have not started. First up is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is technically book one and two. I have book three and four in a bind up and book five. So five books and I haven't read any of them but I own them all. Then we have the Snow Like Ashes trilogy by Sarah Rush. I have all of these. They've been among my bookshelf and among my TBR and book hauls since almost the beginning of my channel in September of last year, and I still haven't read any of these. And I've heard nothing but good things, but for some reason, I've never gotten to these. The same for this series, which is The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. I have all three books. I've heard really great things. I have not read any of them. And they're big books. Like these are all pretty hefty books. Like they're in-depth world building, complete high fantasy books, at least for these. Well, I don't think Lux is high fantasy, but it's like a sci-fi alien story. These are high fantasy and Snow Lake Ashes, I believe, is high fantasy, like in their own world. And I, it's daunting to know that I have books that of that magnitude that I haven't started yet and I have the entire series waiting for me so there's like no excuse for not starting these things. And then I have one that recently came to me, thank you to Lisa from Lisa's, Lisa's Books and Smiles, but this is The Best Kind of Broken which is the Finding Fate trilogy by Chelsea Fine. I have this now and haven't started it. Same also from Lisa is this which is the Beautiful Oblivion. I don't know what the series name is of this. But Beautiful Ob Oblivion is the start of a trilogy. I don't know what this trilogy is, but I own all three of them now and I haven't started them. This is from Jamie McGuire. Did I say that? Did I say that? I have Born Wicked, which is the Cahill Witch Sisters or the Cahill Witch Chronicles trilogy. This is by Jessica Spotswood. Again, I've heard amazing things about this series and I have just never read it. I haven't started it. I want to, I just haven't yet. Um, and then I have one that's been on my TBR for a couple of times now. And that is the Beach Lane series, which was formerly the Au Pair series. There's four books in this one. And this one is by Melissa De La Cruz, whose writing I do enjoy. I know they're fast, I know they're quick, I just haven't gotten to them. And there's no excuse because I know they're fluffy, like I know I could fly through them, I just haven't gotten to them. And it makes me insane. Then I got on Book Outlet, uh, the Everneath trilogy by Brody Ashton. I really liked Brody Ashton in my Lady Jane, she co-authored that and I really liked her writing and I wanted to read something that was a standalone, like just her writing. So this is a trilogy and I think this is like a paranormal romance. Immortals who feed on the emotions and despair of humans, apparently. I have the whole series. I haven't started it. Obviously, you guys know that that's the whole point of this video, but this is another series I have not read yet. And you guys know I like to go into some of my books like really not knowing much so I haven't even read the dust jackets like I don't even know what these are about because I want to go in just blind and I... <sighs> the last series is one that I haven't even hauled for you guys yet. This hasn't even made it into a haul but this is the Abhorin thing? I think it's the Ab Abhorin or Abhorin series. This is Sabriel by Garth Nix. Sabriel? Sabriel? I have this whole trilogy now because I found all of the books on Book Outlet and I figured I would pick them up because they were crazy cheap. I now own them all and I obviously have not read them because that is the moral of this entire video. So um, what I'm going to do is throw this up to you. I have to finish the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. After that, I have to finish, start and finish one of these other series. I'm going to try to get through one series at a time and then throw standalones in as I can or continuations of series as I can. It is my goal to not have any of these series left at the end of the year. So I have six months to finish nine series. I don't know how that's going to play out time-wise, but I need to start somewhere. So what we're gonna do is I will find a way to put a poll down in the description box down below 
or you guys can just vote. Uh, I'm going to find a way to do it as cleanly as possible. But let me know in a comment which one of these you guys think I should read first. Um, I'm kind of torn between the more popular ones like Kiss of Deception, Snow Like Ashes, Lux, but I know some of these other ones may go faster. So if there's any that you're really steering me towards, let me know in a comment or the poll. If I can find a way to do a poll, I'll do a poll down below. If not, I mean, you guys can just figure this out. I will also probably throw up a poll in the Facebook Buddy Read group because your girl needs help. I don't know what to read and I'm feeling really overwhelmed and stunted and like anxious about how much I truly have on my bookshelves that I have not finished or even started and it's getting to me. So I need to make some progress. So let me know what your thoughts are on which one of these I should read first and maybe that will be the one that I tackle. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.